Let us see how we can solve this assignment. First, there are many ways we can approach this. We can, for example, we can draw uh, from Rhino a rectangle and select the rectangle with Grasshopper or we can go to Curves and create our own rectangle inside Rhino. So I'm going to use the second one and let's make a numeric slider 5.0 enter and copy this one and connect it to Y. So now we can delete we can delete the rectangle in Rhino. All right, let me delete it. Perfect. We already have the rectangle and and let us visit the uh, vector tab and drag and drop populate to the a populate to the component. We are going to use the rectangle as our reference. How many points? Uh, let us say the minimum value will be 10, the max 50. Connect it to N and increase the numbers. Well, let me leave it right there. And if you want to check the numbers, 5.000, three zeros. And remember, I like to stretch this slider connected to S. And now you can shake the position of all those 40 points. Excellent. We have the rectangle, we have the points. Now, we need to draw, we need to draw, based on the assignment, a polygon in each one of those points. All right? Remember, the number of edges, uh, the minimum value will be always 3, the max could be 8. So if we connect this one to S, notice that we can set it to 4, 3, 6, etc. Now, the radius, this is the piece of code that you have to be very careful. Look what we are going to do. We are going to vectors and just below the point there is deconstruct a point. In other words, explode it. Drag and drop deconstruct point connect all the points to it and now we have all the values in the X, Y and Z positions. I am going I am going to use the Y value because I want to start from 0 to maybe 8 or 10 from the lower points to the upper points in the Y direction. And let us use under domain remap numbers. So I'm going to change those numbers to a new list of numbers that are going to scale those polygons. So remember, let us connect all the Y values, remap always needs the minimum and the maximum value. So drag and drop the bound component. Connect, connect to S, 
and all we need to do now all we need to do now is to create the domain this domain this domain is found right there under the the math tab drag and drop one of these and the domain could be let's say from 0.25 up to 2.5 the minimum value 0.25 the maximum value 2.5 let's set this one to 1 and connect it to B and connect the domain to T and connect the output of R to the radius of the polygon and there we almost almost got it now you can change the number of edges on your polygon you can change let me stretch so that we can see the whole definition you can increase the rectangle increase the number of points and check the position of all those points so there you have a quick and easy way to finish this assignment and don't forget this is where you find the construct right there